Uganda's parliament has passed a bill which would criminalise people who identify as LGBTQ, with those found guilty facing up to 10 years in prison. Under the proposed legislation, friends, family and members of the community would have a duty to report individuals in same-sex relationships to the authorities. Homosexual acts are already illegal in the East African country, but the bill seeks to go further and criminalise people on the basis of their sexual identity. It had already been illegal to commit homosexual acts in Uganda, but now it has become illegal to even identify as a homosexual, to identify as non-binary, to identify as a gender other than what you actually are. Because it identifies, it crimi criminalizes even identifying as LGBT, not just homosexual acts, but even identifying. I want to read this section of this uh, new law that's now going to President Museveni to assent to. A person commits the offense of homosexuality if the person holds out as lesbian, gay, transgender, a queer, or any other sexual or gender identity that is contrary to the binary categories of male and female. So even identifying as non-binary. A homosexualist is the one who protects, promotes, defends. So let it be life imprisonment. For whoever recruits our children, for whoever gets involved in making sure that our children are involved into this. So despite her being sexually human, she defends herself as a man. I find it very vague. Uganda has decided that they are going to protect not only their integrity, their traditions, but also the lives of their children as well as their children's children. In our country, we will have our morals. We will protect our children. And we are making this law. We are making this law for ourselves. We are making this law for our children. We are making this law for the children of our children. This country will stand firm. And once it passed, I can tell you, Madam Speaker, we are going to reinforce the law enforcement officers to make sure that homosexuals have no space in Uganda. Now, the bill's passed, and the question is, will the president actually sign it? Well, we pretty much know that he is going to sign it. He has made it clear that he is not for homosexuality and what he thinks of it. What is your message to Western human rights groups, to President Obama, respect, to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender re re people? Respect African societies and their values. If you don't agree, you just keep quiet. Let's manage our society the way we see if we are wrong, we shall find out by ourselves. Just the way we don't interfere with yours. Mm. Do you personally dislike homosexuals? Of course, they are disgusting. What, what, what sort of people are they? How can you go? Uh, I, I, don't, I never knew what they were doing. That's how I've been told recently that uh, what they do is terrible, disgusting. But I was, I was ready to ignore that if there was proof that that's how he's born, ab abnormal. But now the proof is not there. And even at the pressure of other countries, as well as the media, he's not going to buckle. He understands what's right and what's wrong. You would think that we would as well, especially those who call ourselves people who live in a Christian country who identify as believers, and the Bible says that woe to them that call evil good and good evil. But the problem is we've got people out there who are attempting, who have an issue with this deception and trying to perpetrate it upon everyone else. But the Bible is clear that says that evil men will come forward who are deceived and will deceive others. Sadly, though, there are people who call themselves religious leaders who this doesn't sit well with. Ser homosexual no es un delito. Es una condición humana. Somos todos hijos de Dios. Y Dios nos quiere como estamos y con la fuerza que luchamos cada uno por nuestra dignidad. El ser homosexual no es un delito. No es un delito. Thankfully, though, you've got other African leaders, other African nations. I believe there are about 30 nations in Africa right now that have made it illegal to be homosexual or to commit homosexual acts. And they seem to be just as staunch, just as unwavering as the Ugandans as far as not capitulating, not yielding on this issue of homosexuality. They do not buy into it and they will not buy into it, at least right now. Is the issue of sexual preference in many African countries. In Kenya, 
to be gay, the LGBT community, is, is illegal. They just want to have equal rights, the same privacy and equality as all other Kenyans do. Is that something that you aspire to for your country? I want to be very clear, uh, uh, Christiana. Uh, there is, I will not engage in a subject that is of no, it, uh, it, it is not of any major importance to the people and the Republic of Kenya. This is not an issue, as you would want to put it, of um, human rights or this. This is an issue of society, of our own base as a culture, as a people, regardless of which community you come from. This is not acceptable. This is not agreeable. This is not about Uhuru Kenyatta saying yes or no. This is an issue that the people of Kenya themselves, who have bestowed upon themselves a constitution, right, after several years, have clearly stated that this is not a subject that they are willing to engage in yeah, at this time and moment. In years to come, possibly long after I'm president, who knows? Maybe our society will have reached a stage where those are issues that people are willing freely and open to discuss. I have to be honest with you. And that is the position that we have always maintained. Those are the laws that we have. And those are laws that are 100% supported by 99% of the Kenyan people, irregardless of where they come from. So I, I it's think a very you're going to get yourself into trouble. Mm. Because what you've categorically just stated is that this is not an issue for us, for the Kenyan people. Yes. And you don't think that the idea of their privacy, their equality, their rights... Christian, is important, this is, uh, uh, but it's a global issue it's, right now. It's it's important to them where they are. Why is it I am important saying to you that it as is president not of the important country? to me as the leader of 49 million Kenyans? And after, if you want to ask me my personal opinion, what is your personal after opinion? After I finish my process, I can talk about my personal opinion. But as the leader of the people of the Republic of Kenya. I, I represent that which our people are desirous to be. And I have no choice, but that is my position. And the Zambian leader was unequivocal about his stand on the issue when he spoke to us. Uh, uh, we are saying no to homosexuality. Why should you say we're going to be civilized if we only allow it? Are you, th are you saying we are very primitive now because we are frowning upon homosexuality? Even animals don't do it. Why should we be forced to do it? Because we want to be seen to be smart, to be seen to be civilized and advanced and so on. Regardless if there's pressure from other nations or even our own nation, clearly our nation doesn't like it. Clearly even our own government uh, doesn't like it, as demonstrated by the press secretary's response. Grave concerns with the passage of the Anti-Homosexuality Act, AHA, by the parliament of Uganda yesterday and increasing violence targeting LGBTQI plus persons, if the AHA is signed into law and enacted, it would impinge upon universal human rights, jeopardize progress in the fight against HIV AIDS, deter tourism and invest in Uganda and damage Uganda's international reputation. The bill is one of the most extreme anti-LGBTQI plus laws in the world. But we are told that homosexuality in the Bible is a sin. It is an abomination. And whoever knows any of these commandments or even teaches against these or teaches others to do so, these people will be called least in the kingdom. These people will have their reward. We should be so lucky if we could have a president, a leader such as some of these leaders in these African countries who will not yield on what we know is a sin. You don't have to even be a Christian to see what it does to a person, the fact that they are more likely, more than any other group, more likely to be depressed or to commit suicide. Just thinking about the health implications that come along with, especially male-on-male -male homosexual acts. No amount of money could make him change his mind on homosexuality. A retraction or apology would do, but I don't know, to be honest with you, how far this matter will go. Because already you're tying it to Ed. If that is how you're going to bring your aids, then I'm afraid the Western can leave us alone in our poverty and we will continue scrounging and struggling and see how we can get going. 
there is going to be this continual pushback against these nations to call them uncivilized, to call them uh, on the wrong side of history, anything they can to vilify them and to get people to promote this sin. But let's just be in prayer for them. Let's be in prayer for our own country. Let's be in prayer for our own selves here in America and in other countries that we will be vigilant and will not yield, will not waver from what God has said is right and what he's also stated is wrong. Amen.